What's good in the hood, YouTube? This is Crazy Samurai. So anyone here bringing another video. Today I'm bringing a video on Common Rider Build Episode 8. This episode is called Memory Starts to Talk, and the episode was actually really, really good. The episode actually, the episode uh, began with us hearing from Katsuragi's uh, mother, who explains who Katsuragi really was, about how he wanted to be a, oh, what do you call it, a scientist like his father and he had uh, he really adored his father his mother not as much she didn't he didn't really express it even though he did love her, love her but he aspired to be a scientist like his father and the thing was is that um his father was highly liked and there was a picture that they took together as a family uh, which really showed that in them that there was this love and the thing was, and the thing was, is that Katsuragi's father actually was in charge of the Pandora's box during the whole entire, like during the time that they had to give the speech and everything about it. And he actually gave the speech. And when the incident happened, everyone began to criticize Katsuragi's father for the fa for what happened because of the of Pandora's box. And eventually, this led to him not being able to handle the pressure anymore and eventually taking his life so then from there katsuragi decided to uh become a scientist and work for the totoro institute on his own time and then it led to what we saw where he ended up wanting to do human experimentation and do things without seeing his surroundings and working without realizing what's going on around him so and and so it, it brings up the point that he probably was working with someone but anyway we end up seeing that uh then they are offered some food some food because uh ryoga uh feels hungry and then we end up seeing that what he, what she gives them is some rolled up uh omelets which are um katsuragi's favorite food and so um, we call it Sento remembers this because one of the kids mentioned how it was one of his favorite food and she makes it all the time and the thing is is that um, she en is that he ends up um, well Ryoga ends up eating it finding it too sweet not really liking it while when Sento eats it he loves it and he begins to cry as he's eating it because he just because of the connection of emotion and just in general he actually really really likes it it's amazing and um the thing is is that she she eventually ends up bringing up a point about how katsuragi during his death um g gave her visited her the day beforehand and um gave her access to some data um saying that if you if someone comes to you and you really trust them give them my data and so the thing like um you should give them um the data that i'm looking for because the data that i have you should, you should give me the data you should give them the data because if this data could um could create good or evil and it's that important so what ends up happening is is that um what do you call it they end up asking where is it and she says it's in Totoro so what they ha what happens is, is that they have to get back there now in the meantime we end up seeing that the three prime ministers show up again and they're discussing how the you know Kamen Rider and, Ryo and Ryoga are in Hokuto and they're concerned about it, especially the Hokuto prime minister and what Gintaku Gintaku is the prime minister's aide and the thing is, is that when they're talking and everything, he brings up the fact that um, <laughs> that I'm sure you're looking to get rid of uh, Toto, and she's just, and uh, the female prime minister is just like, oh no, <laughs> I don't know about that. Like she ends up getting a little bit annoyed because in reality, it's probably right that she's probably getting, looking to get rid of it, and then he, uh gintaku ends up ending the transmission before she can really say anything so then from there um Sento ends up talking to the Totoro prime minister basically mentioning how you know um that that they are a target and that he should really be aware and that during that incident 
only the two of them were affected. The Prime Minister of Totowo was not affected, so, um, you know, the way that they think is different than the way that the Totowo Prime Minister is. But at the same time, the Totowo Prime Minister says that Gentaku is really the one that has changed, not them. So then what ends up happening is, is that they realize that they have to figure out what they can do with him. Uh, what um, what uh, Sento can do with, um, not Sento, what, what um, Gentaku can do to deal with uh, the Kamen Rider build and uh, Ryoga and so what they end up doing is and so then what ends up happening is that Gentaku ends up talking to Bloodstark about the incident and saying that you know uh, we should let them do what they have to do and um, let them come across the border or whatever and um, you know Gentaku wants to deal with Sento and you know just attack him or whatever so the thing is is that eventually um, Sento and Ryoga end up going into Katsuragi's mother's uh, car in the trunk and stays there as Katsuragi's mother ends up uh, going across the border from Hokuto to uh, Totoro and they end up doing some paperwork, it works out fine, and then they make it across. Once across though, it seems like they, they it seems like things are fine until suddenly uh, Blood, uh, no, Night Rogue shows up and ends up stealing, um, and ends up stealing her, and, uh, Sento ends up transforming into, um, Rocket Panda form, but, uh, unfortunately, Gentaku does escape with Katsuragi's mother. So then, at the Foss base, she's told that, yes, your son worked here, he worked for me, uh, and... What, and the thing is, is that they end up asking for the data. So she ends up saying, "I have a key to a bank to, uh, to a bank account, and if you do a special um, bank deposit account or something like that, where the data is located, uh, the number is three four zero five, and if you open it up, um, that will be where the data is." In ex and in exchange for that, um, she is to receive a letter from her son uh, that was supposed to be his will. So the thing is that she accepts the deal, and it turns out that it's just a blank sheet of paper. And she's annoyed at him, obviously, for stealing that. And then we know that they're going to go after the bank deposit account to open it up and see what it could be um, as far as the data goes. So then we end up seeing that uh, Gintaku tells uh, the, the scientist to uh, douse her with some nebula gas and so that she doesn't remember this incident and she doesn't remember who she met, meaning him. Because if she knows, then, then she can tell... Uh, you know, Sento, that uh, the one that uh, talked to her was Gentaku, and if that's the case, then that would change his whole perspective on Gentaku, and that's why she en she ends up being doused. And so then, what ends up happening is is that we end up seeing the cute is that we end up seeing um, Ryoga and S Sento and all of them in the base, and suddenly there is a monster attack. So what ends up happening is, is that they initially think, oh, it's no big deal, but then Sento th says, maybe they brainwashed her, or I mean, not brainwashed her, maybe they turned her into a smash monster. So we should probably go after um, the smash monster and see what's up. So then last second, um, Mizora ends up handing uh, Sento a new um, bottle, which is from the uh, bottle made from the the ice smash last time to um, use against the smash monster which the smash monster is um is you know the kasaragi's mother and the smash monster is the uh strong smash hazard form it is, a, it is a different strong smash we we dealt with the uh, first strong smash, which was like the second monster for the first episode, but this is the strong smash hazard and um, 
Sento ends up fighting against it and eventually releasing it from its state. But also, Sento get, gets to use... Um, but also what happens is, is that they end up uh, getting the essence and then fighting. Um, and, and then what ends up happening is, is that when we call it Katsuragi and uh, no, 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 yeah, no, when, uh, what do you call it? <sighs> when, when Gintaku and his assistant go to check the safety deposit account or whatever, it turns out that it's just a letter saying that you think I'd be, you think I'd trust you or something like that. Basically meaning that he had a pre, he had something put, um, put as a backup solution in case someone came after his data. So then at that point, what ends up happening is, is that we, we see that Sento on the other hand, after the essence is, is removed or whatever, uh, is told by, um, Gentaku's, uh, uh, sorry, Katsuragi's mother, um, the real location of the safety deposit, which is located uh, at the where the picture was originally taken, and so they end up digging up some dirt and finding a box that actually has uh, Katsuragi's data in it on a drive disk or, or not a drive uh, on a USB, and so then what happens is is that Bloodstark shows up and takes it from them and fights um, and fights them, and we also get to see, um, what do you call it? Uh, Ryoga used the Voltec Breaker, which is really cool, but they all fight. Uh, Sento does use the fire hedgehog combination, which involves the fire engine bottle and the hedgehog bottle, uh, which is a new per uh, be uh, perfect match. Because originally he tries the uh, pirate and and fire engine which doesn't work but when he puts those two together it's the best match which again he already has the pirate it's just waiting for the combination um so some of the bottles he already has it's just that he doesn't have the combinations that's why he's not using those bottles even though eventually some of them will work with other bottles in fact during this episode like when he's fighting um bloodstark Gentaku also shows up uh, and does his transformation into Night Rogue, which I think is just a really, really awesome transformation, and fights um, Sento and Ryoga. And, and what happens is, is that Sento and... Uh, is that uh, Build and Night Rogue fight each other, and in the meantime, as uh, Ryoga is trying to bash Bloodstark, Bloodstark's noticing his... Um, uh, Ryoga's hazard level going up higher and higher and higher uh, due to rage obviously and what ends up happening is is that over time we also see other combinations happen like they end up using uh, we call it Hawk Gatling and they use one that we haven't seen yet which is uh, Panda I don't know um Gorilla Rocket, which is which is cool because that's a second combination for Rocket now, uh, which is always good when we have the secondary combinations. Even if it's not a per even if it's not a best match, it's still cool to see the second combinations that they usually have. And sometimes there's even more, but it's good to see that. And they do use the Rocket Panda again. And eventually, what ends up happening is is that Bloodstark ends up taking the the um, the USB that actually Night Rogue steals from um, steals from Sento and gives it to Ryoga and let, and says go go and at that point what happens is is that Sento ends up using his Rocket Panda uh, combination to launch away and um, go to go back to their base. And in the meantime, uh, what do you call it? Night Rogue is pit is really really annoyed at um, Bloodstark for letting them go, and says, "Why would you do that? It's so stupid." He says that by doing by giving him the data, this will only bring us closer to um, to advancing our project for for, for Sento, um, you know, for Curio Sento, and 
and also um, letting Ryoga, uh, Banjo Ryoga, use it or something like that. And again, you have to remember that he it's probably means that it will lead to him become uh, like Banjo Ryoga becoming a rider. That's what it would you would assume it would be. So anyway, from there we end up seeing them back at the base with Katsuragi's mother and. Um, well, actually, you know, yeah, in the base, and they're talking or whatever. And what ends up happening is, is that um, they end up me mentioning how apparently Katsuragi gave his mother two different things, not just the the data, but also a special safety deposit box in case someone came that um, that she really didn't trust that that was looking for his data. So. He really took all. He really uh, covered himself really well in case anyone would steal it for bad reasons, and also give it to the right person that that deserved it um, for the right reasons. So, anyway, what ends up happening is is that from there, uh, uh, Sento ends up giving Katsuragi's mother um, some de deciphered text because the thing is is that his mother never felt like she like he he ever expressed um love or appreciation for what she did but in the decipher text it said thank you for giving me life and that makes her so emotional and really happy and grateful for finding out this information about her son and it's just a really really touching like you want to cry moment um and then finally following this we end up seeing um, Sento getting ready to figure out what the data says on it and the first thing that we see as this, as the data is opened up is it says project build so again this probably has to do with the fact that uh, as we know um, Faust is trying to use the common riders um, as a way as a military application um, and so that's probably what this is gonna lead to now the other thought is that um, the Kamen Rider build, uh, you know, um, driver and everything may have been created by Faust in the first place. Again, still not clear exactly as to how that all worked, but I would think that that is definitely a possibility that like all that stuff was being set up by Faust. Like that's probably why things are working as far as why he, as far as how, it, as far as all the nitty gritty t details about how he got it and all that, I don't know for a fact, but I would say that that is definitely a possibility. Um, so I would say that this is actually a really good episode. Uh, next episode is supposed to be a, uh, even more intense, bringing us even further into the action, learning more about Project Build. And uh, yeah, it's just getting really good. Um, as far as other things go, I'm sure we'll eventually see another combination. Um, again, we got a new bottle. Uh, we got a new bottle today, so um, we'll see something next week. I don't know what it will be. Um, I don't know what the bottle is for next week, so we'll see what the combination is, or if it's the combination, or if we're gonna have to wait till the following week before we get the next one. Uh, it could also be that like maybe he has one bottle and then he already has the other one now. So it will become a new best match. We'll have to wait and see. I love to hear your opinions though. Are you guys looking forward to next episode? Uh, are you guys enjoying the show also? I personally am loving the show. I can't wait to see where things go from here. So please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. And so until then guys, I'm Crazy Star 71 and goodbye guys.